Hello Aries, this is Renee and welcome back. Aries, this is going to be your love reading for March 2023. We're going to take a look at what's coming towards you, what you can expect, what is going on in your love life, Aries. Okay, who is your next love? This message is for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Okay, so if you have Aries in any of your placements, this reading is for you. Spirit, give me a message for Aries, please. A love message for Aries. Okay, we have the Nine of Wands. The Four of Cups. The Magician. <coughs> the Nine of Swords. Hmm... The Eight of Swords. The Strength card. The Seven of Swords. And the Judgment card. Wow, okay. And we have the Knight of Swords. Okay, Aries. Okay, with this Nine of Wands energy, I'm feeling like you're like keeping your guards up for some reason. You're maintaining some kind of boundaries, or maybe you're setting new boundaries. But with this Four of Cups energy, I'm really getting that you're kind of feeling unfulfilled in your current situation. Okay, I feel like you're manifesting something different. You're manifesting something, you know, that doesn't leave you so depleted is the word that I'm getting. Okay, I feel like... You're kind of holding yourself back, but I see, I see you, Aries. I'm getting more of your energy in this reading, Aries, than someone coming close to you. So we're going to have to look into that. But I feel like there's something holding you back. There's something that is keeping you from pursuing new love. And I feel like it may be some kind of past experience, some kind of past emotions. Um, I really feel like you're going through a lot of healing at the moment. You're soul searching. You're looking for ways to really heal yourself because I feel like you've been betrayed in the past. And you're looking for more recovery for yourself than anything else. Okay, but I feel like you're you're like actively manifesting this true heart healing. Okay, um, someone hurt you, Aries, and I feel like you're having a hard time recovering from it. This may be fresh. This may have just happened or just occurred. Um, but I'm really getting this is, this is new, you know? And I, I feel like you have a lot of strength. I feel like, Aries, you have actually more strength than you realize. Um, because it takes a lot of strength to come back from something that hurt so greatly. And I feel like that's what it was, that you were hurt, you were betrayed in the worst way possible that's what I'm feeling um, and I feel like you are you know trying to focus but there are some choices that you need to make before you move on to your next relationship to your next love interest you know I feel like there's some things that you may need to leave behind there's a lot of emotions that you need to release Aries um, but just know that those emotions are, are gone you know you, and, and I see with this 
you know, with the Two of Wands energy, you're you're starting on this journey of making these choices okay with the eight of cups energy you have made the choices and you're walking away so you are deciding that these are the things that you need to release these are the things that you need to do in order to recover from whatever this was that you're going through now the ten of swords actually in this ten of swords situation it's actually beautiful because it means that you have released what you need to and now you are moving into a new beginning a new beginning within yourself a new beginning into being recovered and a new beginning into being healed Okay, so this is the ending of your pain and the beginning of something new. So this Ten of Swords energy is actually very, very beautiful because it shows that you have healing. It shows that you are recovering from whatever the situation is. Okay, and let's get some more information. Let's get some more information for this, please. Spirits message for Aries. Okay, there is someone coming in after your healing has completed. Okay, this King of Wands energy, this is fire. This may be a Leo, uh, Taurus, or Sagittarius. A Leo. No, that's not Taurus. Leo Aries. A Sagittarius. This, however, can be you. Okay? Um, <clears throat> or you could be dealing with someone who's also a fire sign. But, now, if this is your energy, Aries, I feel like you are regaining the passion to you know move forward and know that not all love is the same not all love ends in a painful situation okay and i feel like you know this is more lion energy look at this lion here you know so and i feel like the person who may be coming towards you may be a leo um but this is courage this is courage to keep pressing on, even though you have been hurt in the past. Okay? So, I feel like with this fire energy, you, you are regaining this passion to, you know, look for your love. You know, there, there's work that you're doing. You're putting in the work. You may also meet someone at your work, okay? Someone who finds a lot of value in you. Someone who may have been your shoulder in your times of need. Maybe you've talked to somebody at work about your situation. And I feel like this has kind of drawn them closer to you. They feel like they have seen a different side of Aries you know usually with Aries you think oh yeah they're strong they're capable they're powerful you know Aries is this powerhouse but Aries get hurt just like anybody else and I feel like you know this person now sees you as someone who sometimes can be very vulnerable even though they're very strong okay um so I, I'm, I'm feeling that this person is drawn to you with you kind of pouring your heart out to them. So you may definitely know who this person is. Uh, with the Seven of Wands energy, I feel like this is someone who wants to protect you, who wants to defend you, you know? Um, 
I really feel the power of protection here. Someone has seen what you went through and they really want to bring you more happiness, more joy. You know, I feel like maybe this person has seen you at your most vulnerable and they've seen your tears, they've seen your emotion and they want to make things right. They want to make you happy, you know, so... I feel like this is someone you definitely poured your heart out to, okay? Uh, but they do want to make an offer to you, a very significant offer, to plant the seeds of something new. You know, and I feel like this person is very patient because they're willing to watch you grow into this. You know, they're willing to see you through. I'm seeing that... They want to provide a more stable situation for you. They want to protect you and take care of you. You know, as I'm looking at this Ace of Pentacles, I feel like this is this could be someone like holding a heart. You know? Like, you know, I'm I'm here for you. And that's exactly what I'm feeling. You know, if if this is an earth sign, that's coming close to you. Capricorn, Virgo, um, Taurus. I feel like, you know, those signs are stable. They're solid. They are protectors. And they're also, you know, very loyal. The earth signs. Okay. Um, what wanted to fall out was the world card. So I feel like you're ending this cycle. We have the world card on top of the ten of swords. You know. So I feel like you're ending the cycle. And you're able to begin something new. Something more happy. Something more joyful. You know, I feel like you're able to finally get out there and be yourself, to have fun, to show who you really are. Okay? So it's, it's very beautiful energy, Aries, that you are going through this beautiful recovery and, you know, getting past the feelings that you, you know, have felt, the situation that you're coming out of. Okay, so I, I think that's very courageous. <clears throat> we have balance. It's not always about agreeing just for the sake of it. A great relationship is one that both supports and challenges. Okay, and we have embrace. Through each other, you find the missing pieces. So that's beautiful. We have forgiveness. Stop focusing on your energy on past events, for life is too precious to waste. You create your reality by, by what you think, dream, and imagine. Okay? <laughs> okay. Deep in your heart, you already know the answer. Do what feels right. Beautiful. And we also have time. You are trying too hard. Give it time. Okay? So, I, I feel like Spirit is letting you know that, you know, you are going through this healing. You are almost there. You may need to give it a little bit more time so that you can be more stronger in the next relationship. Okay, you have the strength card. So I know that you have the strength and the ability to do whatever you set your mind to. And you also have the Ten of Pentacles here. So I know that this recovery is very capable for you. Okay, and the Judgment card, this is... This is you making the final decision to go on. 
you know, to find a new purpose, to find a new love. Okay, so and I think this is this is very beautiful, Aries. I think that you're on the right path. Let's get a message. What would your person say to you if they were able? What do they have to say? What are their intentions? How do they really feel? I know that I messed up everything. Okay, so. <clears throat> you and I were too young. Okay. Maybe this is someone that you have confided in that you know. I will wait for a sign from you. Okay. I can't stop thinking about you. And I left when I saw you with someone. Okay. So I, I feel like this person may have some mixed emotions. Um, but yeah, let's take a look at the Love Oracle cards. Let's see what that has to say. Okay, Spirit, give me a message for Aries. Tell me about the person. Tell me about this person coming into their life. Okay, this person may be marrying you. They may be very similar to you because we have the mirror here. And this is marrying each other. And also reflecting your wounds. You know, uh, so they may have been through a similar situation that you have. So that may be something that you're mirroring at the moment, okay? We have Cupid's arrow. Have faith, love is coming. It, there's gonna be a surprise invitation or a meeting. So I feel like this person really wants to come towards you. They really want to, you know, um, send you some kind of invitation. Maybe even ask you out or, um, give you some kind of sign but love is coming we also have healthy choices and I feel like you're making more healthy choices you are finding a reason to love yourself even during your recovery during your healing you you're putting in that self-care to become a happier person you know you're trying to find that happiness again you know um, so I feel like this is really beautiful energy for you, Aries, because you are coming to that place of realization that all that glitters isn't gold, but there is gold out there, you know, and I think that is just the, the road that you must take in order to find what it is you're being led to, because obviously the, with the pain that you endured, that wasn't the road you were meant to have. You know, there's a road out there. And Spirit wants to let you know if you have any questions. The answer is yes. Okay? Spirit is saying yes to you. So I feel like, you know, it's coming to remain positive. Find happiness in your situation. Because you're strong. Okay? And you have the situation will improve, Aries. Okay. So, Aries. That is what I have for you. If this reading resonates, please like and subscribe. Hit that bell so that you don't miss any uploads. And um, take a look at your sun, moon, and rising. I have all of the March readings uploaded now, Aries. So take a look at your sun, moon, rising, and your Venus sign for more clarification of your situation. Okay, it, it'll give you more messages. And maybe it'll resonate more with a certain sign at the moment. Okay, but until your next reading... Many blessings to you, love and light.